millions of years, dinosaurs ruled the earth. Trillions of stories lost to the mists of time, each one a complex drama, conducted without witness or understanding. Until now. Hi, I'm Ingy the Puppet. You may remember me from such classroom educational programs as Geology Rocks. But today I'm here on behalf of a bigger cause, the Philip J. Curry Dinosaur Museum. This state-of-the-art facility will be extreme, top of the line, to the max, and many other creative superlatives. But to get there, we need your help. Please visit our Indiegogo campaign shown at the bottom of your screen and pledge to make this monster of a museum a reality. But just what is the Curry Dinosaur Museum and why should we build it? We have a Newsasaur special report to answer just that very question. This project uh, will impact tourism, uh, education, uh, economy, and lifestyle. The architectural drawings are complete, uh, the uh, tendering documents are ready, and uh, we are uh, ready to get underway with the exception of the last of the funding. The building will have a theater, two smart technology classrooms, a paleo lab, a restaurant, a gift shop, and all kinds of things to explore. We'll even have some relaxation areas outside where families can have picnics after they're done looking around. So once you're done looking at the museum, you can just hop on a tour to go visit one of the world's richest dinosaur bone beds. We have curriculum-based school programs from kindergarten to grade 12. In fact, we already have 10 developed. They're always interactive and engaging. We've already influenced 3,400 students, and for the past two summers, we've been delivering public programs. Those include dinosaur bone bed tours to one of the world's largest and densest horned dinosaur bone beds, and also uh, plays, so we dress up like dinosaurs and educate you all about the past. From those programs, we've already reached 7,000 members of the public. If you compare the number of species that we know from the Peace Region to those in southern Alberta, we know roughly 5% of the known animals from here. That's an incredible amount of uh, room for new discoveries. In the past few years, paleontologists have discovered new species of uh, carnivorous dinosaur footprints from duck-billed dinosaurs and tyrannosaurs, even tiny little uh, fossilised insects and, and marine reptiles. For the past several years, scientists have been coming from around the world to experience and explore this region. Now, this facility gives scientists a base from which we can really open up the region to new discoveries. There you have it, a project that has inspired celebrity endorsement, a glow-in-the-dark Canadian coin, a best-selling book, and blowout fundraising events all in an eco-responsible LEED certified package. This team certainly has its act together. It just needs your help. Puppets are standing by. Paleontologists look really cool in slow motion. <laughs> I can't do it. Thanks, Brian. Great mustache. Why, thank you. And thank you, Erica. 
but you're not fooling anybody.